Design Tech High School opened its doors in 2014. We have all students take in lab class. So they start out as ninth graders just learning the principles of design thinking. And then as they move through their curriculum by their fourth year, by their senior year, we really expect them to be actively seeking out their own design challenges, their own problems to solve. So the work we're doing at the Institute of Applied Neuroscience is we're trying to help our teachers become learning engineers. And engineers take the basic research and turn it into something that you can use. For our teachers, they have the content of the class they're teaching, the specific subject, but they also are gaining the content of the learning science of how the brain actually works, and then they're going to translate that into an actual practice in their classroom using a design thinking approach. Any scientific discipline that has made an impact in the real world hasn't done so through its scientists. It's done so through the engineers. And that as researchers who study how people learn, it's really important for us to refine our research questions based on what they know. When our staff learns about the science behind what's happening in the brain, it gives them a lot of options for how they can engineer the most productive learning environment for the kids. For me, this is like, some objective science that says this is how people learn. And so that can help kind of check people when they have certain ways of teaching for so long and then they're like, or it can also validate someone who's been doing something. And so I'm actually interested in learning more about how brains work, particularly in adolescent kids, um, and how I can apply that then when I'm creating curriculum and actually teaching. One of the things that we're really pushing for with the teachers becoming learning engineers, and one of the principles that's fairly easy to implement is this idea of low stakes testing and giving students the opportunity to practice retrieval. Every Friday they're just having this low stakes quiz because as we know from the learning science now, it's not enough to tell the students the information, they also have to practice the retrieval. It really leads to the learning, so the teachers are giving students numerous opportunities to practice the retrieval. Because design thinking and, and the design thinking specifically around education here at DTEC was so sophisticated, um, it was very easy to kind of merge the ideas of how do we take the principles of science of learning, the processes of human-centered design or engineering, and then the platforms of technology to really start to engineer solutions to grand challenges in education. I mean, having the teachers trained in, to be learning engineers is it's a very powerful step forward, but the real power is when the students can understand and apply the science of learning to their own learning.